Hello, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Techno Paladin. As we continue on our base missions here, we are going to hopefully be able to continue some of these farming missions and see if we can't get most of these completed, hopefully. Let's see, how is the gut rot flower, friend? Does it blossom? Is it heavy with fruit? Let's see, hand in face you. Beautiful friend, we shall make a farmer of you yet while I prepare a dish of fragrant wonder. Another agricultural challenge awaits you. Alright, so frost wart. The frost wart is a tricky thing, friend. It flourishes where other plants fail, thrusting its roots through the ice and snow, but such a hard life is not for us. Plant one here in your own home and be spared the pain of winter. Trader Jatupi asked me to grow a frostwort plant and prove our hydroponic system can replicate any environment. Wonderful friend, it is a delicate thing to look at. For such a hardy plant, please do enjoy it. Alright, and I know we picked up some extra while we were doing our last mission, in the last episode. So I'm going to grab some of this uh, frost crystal here, and let's go ahead and get it planted. Alright, there we go. And I think because we have some frost wart, we might be able to turn this in. See, you have mastered the frost wart. Your base is already feeling more homey, yes? Yep. Does the way it shimmers in the light not enchant you, friend? I have lost hours to its gentle glisten, but now a plant of great contrast. Solar Vine! Alright, your next crop will be Solar Vine. A plant grows deep within the mantle of scorched worlds. It seeks out all heat from the sun or the core below. Its roots can extend to such incredible lengths that once it was believed they never ended. But do not worry, friend. Here, with our facilities, their growth shall be more manageable. Trader Jadupi wishes for me to cultivate Solar Vine, a plant that usually grows only in extreme heat. If only I shone as brightly as the solar vine. I envy the joy of discovery, friend. Okay, so, and this is also one that for our mission to get the circuit board, we needed some solar vines. So hopefully we got enough extra. Uh, so I'm going to put the, f the frost crystal back. And I think the solar vine is actually in our ship because it was still showing that we can actually plant it. So let me... Uh, Plant this here. Let's see. All right, and so we have enough extra. We can already turn this mission in too. So these, some of these might go pretty quick, hopefully. You have successfully cultivated solar vine. Yes, I can smell its heat from here. Its incandescent splendor. Wonderful. Savor this moment, friend. For now, I lead you into a more dangerous realm of botanical study. The fungal mold. Fungal clusters are cultivated within toxic environments, but you have proved you can master much, yes? Be careful as you work, friend. Clusters have been known to cause illness and hallucination if improperly handled. Extended exposure is ill-advised. Trader Jatupi wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow fungal clusters. Wonderful. While you prepare the fungal clusters, I will check our ventilation systems. One can have too much of a good thing. Okay, now this is one that I know we haven't actually collected yet. Um, we've gotten some cactus clusters, but not the other, not the fungal clusters, and I believe we actually have a system here in our, or a planet here in our home system, oops, that uh, has said fungal clusters. I believe it's actually the planet that we died on. So yep, there we go. So we're going to have to head over here and get some of this fungal mold. And before I do that, I'm going to transfer some stuff.
do some cleanup and then we'll get going. Okay, I think we got everything that we needed to get taken care of, taken care of. So we are going to go get our ship, which is over on this side. And head over here to this fungal planet. And we might pick up some of the gamma root while we're out too, because we're going to need some of that as well. So we can try to preempt this mission. And hopefully have enough on hand to get it all done at the same time. Cluster. We'll have to see what else we needed because there was another mineral that we need as well. So we'll have to see if we can, where we can find that. Let's see. So how much is that fungal mold that we picked up? 82 want a little more than that. And we also need Let's see. Let's see what we have here on this planet. Copper, magnetized ferrite. some creatures while we're here too. So we can get our Mordite for our base mission. Let's see, do we see any more fungal mold? Need a couple more of you guys, sorry. Ouch. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. But I need more diet. <laughs> Yeah, this system is pretty neat caves, that's for sure. I think that cave update really made a big difference that they did. Actually, was it last year or maybe the year before? Okay, well, like I said, we need some... ...fungal mold. have to actually use our ship to go to find this a little easier. Like you would think that with a, a good graphics card this wouldn't uh, clip in so much with all these textures, but it is what it is. So we need ammonia, which is one of our deposits. So let's look around for that deposit. Aha, there we go. So let's collect some resources and then go get some ammonia. And then we're gonna head over to the Gamma Root planet. And grab a few things there and then head on back to the base. That's a pretty cool gap. Okay. No sightseeing.
there was an ammonia deposit right here somewhere. Where'd it go? Oh, that's it right there, I think. Yep. I'm blind, you know. It's all green. It all blends together. So I think we need at least... They said that we needed 25 units, so we'll just grab a little bit here.
Alright, well now that I've recharged, or gotten all the ingredients we need for the gamma root, or for the uh, fungal root uh, item, we are going to actually head over here to this radioactive planet and pick up the things we need for the uh, gamma root, because I think that one might be next. So we need to pick up some of that and some uranium. So we're going to fly on over here real quick. Alright, so now we just got to look for some gamma root, just like we did the fungal root and all these others. There it is, there's some gamma root. Radiation protection falling. And we got some uranium on the way, so we'll grab all that while we're here.
All right, well, now that we've collected some gamma root and uranium, uh, we are going to head on back to base and uh, do some more of these farming missions. Ah, you are finished then. Let me see those fungal clusters of yours. It has been such a long time. You learn quickly, traveler, now that you have mastered some of the more dangerous flora. Let's go one step further. Alright, so yeah, this is why we went and got that radiation over there. The Gek lost our homes, our cities, our identity in the last great war, traveler. World upon world, bombarded by atomic strike. All that grows on the worlds of old are warped things, deadly to the touch, screaming with the memory of what they once were. One such crop is gamma weed. We shall cultivate it here. Let us leave the fighting to others, friend. We shall grow things instead. See, Trader Jatupi wishes for me to cultivate gamma weed using the hydroponics tray. I await the results with anticipation, traveler. Now please forgive me. I have not been able to sleep recently. I must get some rest. All right, we're gonna have to create another tray here. Okay, four metal plates. Are the gamma weed cuttings ready? They require delicate care in spite of their chaotic origins. Or perhaps because of them. Who knows? Show me your success! Ah, I will be able to make such fine dishes with this plant. It is a pity that you are unable to gorge on this radioactive treasure, traveler. But perhaps I may offer an alternative. We saw sate your hunger with a beauty rather than food. Let's see a gravitino, venom urchin, and pearl orbs. Alright. We shall cultivate a crop of Gravitino hosts. I'll happily tell you the history of this flora should you wish it. My stories and theories seem to be or other Gek friend. I suppose I am closest to the Corvax and I wish to study. But even then, those machines lack all sense of surprise, all passionate wonder. I must confess that I frequently feel lonely. Let's see. Trader Jatupi wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow gravitinos. Many believe many believe that the gravitino hosts cannot be cultivated through artificial means, but I know they are wrong, friend. You will reap the benefits of my experimentation. Okay, so let's see. What do we need? Oh, we don't even need a gravitino ball. How about that? Alright. So, but it does say we have to harvest at least one, so let's just grab some out of storage. And return to the farm. I know that sound anywhere. You carry gravitino balls, do you not? Ah, it is like greeting an old friend. Let me see them. Truly wondrous work, traveler. And now we have the cactus one as well. 
We've seen so much life in frost and heat, nuclear winter, and toxic wastelands. You should know by now that no world is truly barren, friend, even if there seem to be few signs of life. Take the echo Echinocactus, for example. They are found on otherwise barren worlds, waiting for their moment to thrive. Just think of what they will become in the superior environment. Trader Jatupi wishes for me to cultivate Echinocactus, a plant that usually grows on barren worlds. I look forward to the results, friend. Alright, I'm pretty sure we have some left from when we were out getting the other stuff. So let's uh, throw that over on the other side. We don't need that. Turn that back. Turn that back. Cactus must have bloomed by now. Is it ready, friend? Can I see it? Oh, I need it a lot. I only have two plants left to show you. Your training is almost complete, friend. I am so proud. Okay, Star Bramble. I want to share something with you. Something beautiful beyond compare. Star bulbs are grown from the rarest star brambles, found on lush worlds, unspoiled by war or death. That is why I wanted to become a farmer to tend such sublimity. Trader Jatupi wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow a star bramble. Excellent. I must go and speak to the overseer. Apparently they are unhappy with my performance. Perhaps this crop will change their mind. Alright, we should have everything to do that one too. But we need more star bulb to turn in the mission. Okay, so we may have to let, let that one grow. So let's come over here to our mission list. We have, I believe, the expanding the base we should be able to finish. Oh, no, we need a hundred units. Okay. Just short. So let's go kill a couple creatures here. Seer. I can see the change in you, friend. You have completed your task, and I have seen this world as you see it. Uh, I do not entirely understand what I have done for the Overseer, but they seem once again ready to reward me for my actions. Here, take these schematics. May the things you build always remind you of those you killed to construct them. Okay, so this gets us our Exocraft Terminal, which is, I believe, our last terminal to get. Geology cannon. Okay. So I might take a look and see about building that extra craft up top. So we still have the star bramble left here, which I think maybe that, and then maybe one more plant. Um that we'll have to get from our farmer geck. So we're gonna wait for that star bramble to grow. So with that, I'll say thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will start on some of the Exocraft missions in our next episode. Ta-ta.